A descendant of a Youngstown founding father has written a book on one of the city's most historic neighborhoods. First News anchor Stan Boney visited with her today. He's live in the studio with her story and her stories. Yeah, she has both of those. Her name is Dorothy Butler. She's the great great granddaughter of Joseph G. Butler Jr., one of Youngstown steel barons and the founder of the Butler Institute of American Art. She grew up in the Wick Park neighborhood and has now taken it upon herself to tell its story. She'll have a new book out come spring titled Wick Park Style. I met with Dorothy Butler this afternoon in the first floor of a house that she's renting on Park Avenue right across from Wick Park. It was built in 1902 and had the most beautiful handcrafted fireplace that you will ever see. She showed me the research that she's done on the Wick Park neighborhood, not only the people who own the homes, but also the servants who worked there. She says it was during the 1980s that the neighborhood was picked to pieces and Butler's looking for ways to save it. I understand preserving for future generations, but when a house loses all its features, and I can show you some of the, the photos, then it's got a bigger chance of being demolished. It's got a bigger chance of coming down. And once we lose this neighborhood, we're done. I mean, there's nothing left of this Gilded Age world that was once here. And they did a lot now, Dorothy of Butler not only lives in the Wick Park neighborhood now, she spent her first nine years growing up here. We walk past the house on Park Avenue that she grew up in, which has been bought and is in the process right now of being renovated. The book Wick Park Style will be available in the spring. Dorothy Butler lives just a block from the former Renner Mansion of Renner Brewery fame. She has an interesting story about the Renner House, and I'll have that for you tonight on First News at 10 and 11. Live in the studio, Stan Boney, WKBN. 27 First News.